system you use to get to work and run errands could reach a state of unsustainable disrepair. That's what a new published report is claiming, saying projects to improve the aging infrastructure might either not be done in time or could be too expensive. News 12's Julio Avila takes a look at the report and breaks it down. Yeah, well, the big number to start off with, just over $30 billion of money that so far haven't been committed to capital projects. And that's according to a report published by the Citizens Budget Commission. And that's part of an overall budget price tag of about $53 billion for the MTA's capital plan from 2020 to 2024. Now, the report and even the MTA saying work was put on hold for 18 months because of the pandemic and that the CBC says the TA has to play catch up. Now, the report says that so far just over $8 billion was given for projects this year and that if the MTA continues funding infrastructure projects at that amount, then these projects wouldn't be committed until 2028. Now, the report did mention the MTA's congestion pricing plan, appraising the plan for needed revenue for the transit system by charging a toll on vehicles in Manhattan. Now, some subway riders say they have seen some maintenance work being done, and others believe there should be a focus on other things. Infrastructure for elevators, I see a lot more elevator construction going on um, in the sense of like maintenance inside. Um, I don't see any issues so far. The safety is the most concern. Mm -hmm. I know they probably can't do much about that, you know, because it has to do with the police. We spoke to an MTA spokesperson who says the CBC's report doesn't accurately portray the MTA's capital program. In a statement, he said, quote, in approximately 13 months, the MTA has already awarded $9.5 billion in capital projects. This puts us in the range of a $50 billion pace over a normal five-year award period. Now, the MTA statement went on to say that about three-quarters of the money is going towards uh, the maintenance of subways. At the Pelham Bay Park subway station, Julio Avila, News 12.